What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash this up button to be notified for future readings. This free general collective reading for all signs, Caps, Two Sides, everybody in between. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, it apply. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate with the rest. Free general collective reading. Love you guys. If you'd like to donate, it's High Priestess 205. The link's in the description box below. PayPal only. No cash out, no Venmo. Love you guys. I received another download, so I'm just sitting here chilling as my daughter is alienating me. As she's being mind warped by somebody. Just saying, just saying. So, I'm going to deliver it. I love you guys so much. I hope everybody's having a wonderful day. Um, hashtag, I want my kids back. Be my knees to hear that. Okay, so um, the channel message I received was um, uh, a dark art spiritualist. I heard uh, people have been hiring a dark art spiritualist. I heard it's a femme energy. I heard it's an older femme energy, actually. So it's older femme energy, dark art spiritualist. Um, I heard a community has been hiring her for advice. Um, hiring her for advice. Um I heard dark arts and other advice, but, um, and I heard she's getting paid good money. She's getting paid good money for this, but I heard, um, all her advice is not good advice and it's actually backfiring on the people that are paying her good money for this advice. Um, and the dark art, uh, I heard there was some kind of spells that they have been, um, paying her for and they are not working as well. I heard she's been doing this for over 20 years. So she's very experienced, whoever this person is. It's old. I didn't hear a sign on her. She's an older, dark art spiritualist. But, she, I mean, hell, she's been doing it for 20 years. She's, I'm presuming she at least has to be like 40. I'm assuming 38, 40, something like that. Or something like that. I didn't hear an age on her. But she is definitely older, 35, 36 or above. And she's been doing it for over 20 years. But some kind of spells aren't working. And um, the advice that she's giving that people are paying her good, their good hard-earned money to get uh, to get from her, it's not working either. It's actually backfiring. So I'm guessing it's backfiring their own everyday world. How that resonates and applies. <clears throat> Damn. So well, if the services aren't working, okay. There's a reason I'm pulling this in. So I think at least one of my subscribers or somebody that's about to come across this video. Deals with this dark art spiritualist. Or maybe the dark art spiritualist watches my channel. Maybe that's why I'm pulling it, pulling it in. But how that resonates. If you are one of the ones that have received services from this dark art spiritualist. And the shit's not working. Request a refund. It'd be my need to hear that. Request a refund. Just saying, just saying. You shouldn't be dealing with the dark art spiritualist to begin with. But, especially if the shit ain't working, request a refund. It's not like you can go to the Better Business Bureau, because um, I'm sure whoever she is is not a credible business. If she's a dark art spiritualist, I'm sure she doesn't, you know, register with the Secretary of State and sole proprietorships or LLC as um, Betsy's House of Horror, like, and she truly is horror shit, or, um, I, or I don't know, um, whatever whatever but my point is i'm sure it's underground illegal behind the scenes business is what i'm saying or it might be a credible business and she runs the shit behind the scenes how that resonates i don't know the legal status on her business whether it's illegal or legal but my point is request a refund and if it is a legal business you can i mean you're going for behind the scenes dark art shit anyway so it's not like you can blast it on the better business bureau is what i'm trying to say or blast it on some kind of ratings or something. But if it was me, I'd request a refund. But not that I've ever visited Dark Art Spiritualist. Nor would I ever. But somebody is. Whoever you are. But I would request a refund. You can take the advice or leave it. And I would cut her ass off. I mean, you can take the advice or leave it. But obviously the advice she's giving you is shit advice. And it's backfiring in your own life. And the spell she's given you, whatever the hell kind of spell she's given you, isn't working. Co logic, reason, and common sense would be to cut her ass off. Quit paying her your hard-earned money if anybody needs to hear that. Damn.
Let me see if I hear anything else. One of these people is about to transmute it on this dark art spiritually so badly it is about to embarrass the hell out of her. Transmute it very publicly. Oh, my lord. Okay, so one of you guys is about to transmute it, so change the energy on her. Um, very publicly. I heard it's going to embarrass the hell out of her, so I don't know how you're going to transmute it publicly on her, meaning transmuting, for anybody who doesn't know, is changing the energy around on her. So turning it around on her. But I heard you're going to transmute it publicly, so her's going to embarrass the hell out of her. So I don't know if you're going to transmute it social media, or you're going to transmute it in the public, like everyday public or both. Um, for some of you guys, I feel it could be telling people not to go to her is what I feel. Like verbal, like spreading it around, like, hey, uh-uh, no, no. She's been doing this 20 years and blah, 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 but it ain't working kind of shit is what I'm feeling. For some, it could be on social media, but I mean... I don't feel it's social media, but it could be for some if you're that bold. But the thing is, is if you're putting all this shit on social media that you visited at a dark art spiritualist to begin with, doesn't that kind of make your credibility go down? I mean, that's the way I look at this. But of course, you have free will to do whatever you want to do. Just saying, just saying. We have lantern, illumination of all this shit not working. Some kind of spells aren't working that you bought from her. The bad advice you're getting that you're paying good hard-earned money to get from her is not working. It's not like getting on a YouTube channel where I get money on back end from this shit and donations, which thank you guys for all the lovely donations. I appreciate it, by the way. Um, but it's not like this where I get on here and get money from the back end and get donations from you guys. Whoever this is, they're actually paying actual services. It'd be like, an example would be like my services, like my readings that I offer, I offer two readings right now. It'd be like that. It'd be like getting on there and utilizing some kind of services that paid services. And then whatever their advice they're giving is not even helping, except it's on the dark art side. The illumination that her dark art services are not even effective here. Um, it's a true dark arts witch here, and I'm just being for real, for real. No kid fun kitchen witch, no fun garden witch. I mean, true dark arts shit. True dark arts. Her reputation is about to tank in the community. It already has. It's about to go down even worse. Okay, I heard her reputation has already tanked in the community, and it's about to go down even worse. So, illumination of her, uh, I guess, true self here. I'm thinking illumination of true self, not false mask. And what she really does, she might have a 3D job or jobs, but she makes she makes the bank on the back end with dark arts. A true dark arts witch here. I mean, we got the freaking lantern part. I'm just being for real, for real. And I feel one of you guys, is, guys has utilized her services. And I'm just being for real. We have almost 14,400 of you guys on here right now. I feel at least one of you has. And I'm just being for real. Probably several. But you, only you know your story and situation, not anybody else. I'm pulling this in for a reason. Okay, I heard a reputation has already tanked. It's about to continue to tank. <clears throat> and COVID evidence is about to get to the right light side police officers. Know this. Cold case information on deaths of the past. COVID evidence. You were connected. Dark art spiritualist. Very heavily connected. Blood sacrifices here. Oh my God, you plug it in, hot resonates. That's confirmation. Okay, dark arts witch. 
Dark Arts, I mean, your Dark Arts Specialist, i.e. a Dark Arts Witch, whoever you are. 35, 36 or above. Fem Energy's been doing it for 20 plus years. Um, I'm assuming the Dark Arts, is it's already backfired on you. If it's not effective, obviously, the Dark Side has already offered, um, they wanted their shit back, basically. It's not, it's not working. It's not working. <laughs> it obviously is not working. Um, thank God it's not working. But my point is, is whoever you are, Dark Arts, I feel the Dark Arts spiritualists may watch my channel and the ones that have uh, purchased services from her watches my channel. Or you're about to. How that resonates and applies. There's a reason I'm pulling this in. So you have to plug yourself in where you fit or maybe you know these people that has utilized services from her or you are the Dark Arts spiritualist or know her. How that resonates. But how that resonates, we got a Dark Arts witch out there. In a freaking city, there's been blood sacrifices this chickadoo, I think, was the head of the uh, blood sacrifices. Blood sacrificing for the coven. And apparently, the information is about to get to many light side police. And the coven information is about to get to the light side police. And evidence. So evidence of the deaths of the cold cases in the past, I'm presuming, or some other kind of evidence. Maybe it's evidence of you selling all your witchy, true dark arts witchy shit. That doesn't even work anymore. Dark Art Spiritualist. Um, maybe you should consider changing career fields there. Um, Fem Energy. I can't even call you ma'am. If that resonates for you. I mean, go to the light, ma'am. If that resonates for you. God. Spirit messages you have reflected. Healing. I heard get another one. Spirit messages here. Reflected. People are getting huge wake up calls and already have gotten huge wake up calls about this person. People have already gotten huge wake up calls about this person and they're about to. So maybe you're the one, one of the ones that have already gotten a huge wake up call about her or you're about to. I would request a refund back. She probably won't give it to you, especially if it's underground, illegal, behind the scenes business, but you can at least try. And then I cut her ass off. Of course, that's my advice. But you can take it or leave it. This is crazy. Secret. Skull. Blood sacrifices. Evidence is about to get to light side police officers. And they're going to take great action. And they're going to take great action is what I heard. And they should take great action. If anybody is that is still utilizing services from her needs to hear that. This is not healthy to be affiliated with. Just saying, just saying. Healing. Hold on one second. I want to make sure it's not my daughter. Nope. <clears throat> uh, confirmation, by the way. Healing. And a stolen inheritance that was given to someone that should not it should not have been given to this head this uh, older dark art spiritualist gave it to this person and they shouldn't have. There are many series of chain of events. It's about to get to the right person, a true light side spiritualist. People are getting huge wake up calls here, huge. Okay, so that healing, well, somebody's got a stolen inheritance. Okay, this chickadoo is, she, man, she is terrible. She's freaking terrible. Who, who would want to deal with this chickadoo? And I'm just being, for, unless you, unless you're criminal, and I'm just being for real. She sounds, she's like a bad news bear. Huge bad news bear. Huge criminal bad news bear. And I hope her ass gets connected to these cold cases and she gets locked up for like, Many moons. And I'm just being for real. Okay. So anyway. So I heard. Um, Ch Chickadoo. Over here. Basically collaborated with a masculine energy. I heard it was masculine energy. To take a light side femme spiritualist inheritance. So. How she did that. That's. that I'm assuming probably fraud. Identity theft. Um. Um. 
forged documents, the whole gambit. I'm sure, oh, and apparently she's first in criminal and evil and dark. So, hell, she, um, obviously had no problems doing that. But I heard she gave it to a uh, masculine energy. A very low vibrational masculine energy. A very low vibrational masculine energy. So she gave a light side spiritualist stolen inheritance. Now, how she acquired a light side spiritualist stolen inheritance, she's a dark side older um, spiritualist. This person is a light side spiritualist, older or younger. But how she acquired this person's, this femme energy stolen inheritance, I have no fucking idea. That's criminal in itself. But she did acquire it, and she gave it to a low vibrational masculine energy. But I heard through many series of chain of events, it's about to get back to the rightful owner. And it should, because it sounds like it should have never even happened to begin with. And now you've got all these cold cases from all these deaths and blood sacrifices and shit going on that she helped create. I heard she's the ringleader over here. I think that's going to promote healing. Healing to the situation. And hopefully healing when the light side officers um, get a hold of this evidence of the cold cases of the past with the blood sacrifices and the coven evidence. I think some of you guys are about to send the uh, evidence or the information of these cold cases being connected with this coven or some kind of evidence being connected with the coven to hopefully get her ass locked up. Locked up. You won't let me out. Oh, you won't let me out. Oh, you won't let me out. Oh, and I'm just being for real. Lock her up, man. Healing to the situation. I think that's getting the inheritance back to the correct person. And healing the situation and solving these damn cold cases and um, getting her ass locked up. Skull. Secrets of the blood sacrifices in the past. Secrets of the evidence about to come to the light side police officer. Secrets of this masculine, low vibrational masculine energy has his light side spiritualist inheritance. And this chickadoo created a series of chain events to get it to him. Secrets are coming out, and they're about to come out hugely, 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 hugely. People are not afraid anymore. Well, that's good. I heard secrets are coming out hugely, hugely, hugely. Um, they're not afraid anymore. So, in this town, community, city, wherever this is, I didn't hear specifically where it is, town, community, city, they're coming out. But I'm feeling it's probably a more urbanized area like a, a larger town or a city to have a COVID. And I'm just being for real. Well, maybe small towns have COVIDs. I don't know. I grew up in a small town, but um, I moved out when I was 18 out of that little town. Um, so, and I didn't ha have any friends really in high school or any time because uh, I was bullied. So, you know, it is what it is. But how does that resonate? Um, secrets are coming out. They're sick. They're coming out and they've already come out and they're about to come out more. So, I think it's going to help heal the situation. The secrets coming out are going to help heal the situation with the inheritance getting to the correct person and the cold cases about to be connected, hopefully, to this crazy, I mean, and I'm not using crazy lightly. She really is mentally disturbed if she creates that many behind-the-scenes series of chain events to steal somebody's inheritance away from them and deaths occurred in the past to operate her COVID. And she's making all this money off a community, and her services aren't even effective. I'd ask for a refund, just saying. Oh, my Lord. Through many series of chain of events, one of these customers of hers is about to pass away. A sudden death, and that is about to be connected to her too through evidence after this person passes away. It is not going to go well for her. Oh my God Almighty, what is up with all the, oh my God. And through many series of chain events, one of, her, one of these customers that has utilized some kind of false services from her, whether it was a bad advice or spells that didn't work, heard the spells are backfiring. 
So that might be the backfiring energy for this person. Um, maybe it backfired upon them because, you know, black magic always backfires either a little bit or a lot. But I heard that spells aren't even, they're not even being effective. They're actually doing opposite. So they're not even being effective of how this person is even saying they're supposed to go or what have you, what have you. It, they're, they're backfiring. I think the death might be the backfiring of this spell or service or what have you, what have you, that this person that apparently has already utilized services from this person. That's I think that might be the effect. I heard they're about to pass away. We got skull, death. Bones like death. Um, and I heard once they pass away, it will be connected. The death of this person will be connected to them utilizing some kind of services from this dark art spiritualist. That could promote healing too. Healing in the situation. Hopefully the family can get some closure here. Um, hopefully they can determine cause of death through autopsies and etc. 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 But this is but I don't know how they're going to connect that. Maybe evidence and phone of communication or what have you, what have you. I'm not sure. I'm not the police. I'm not a detective, but this is terrible. The stock art spiritualist was trying to sacrifice the light art the, the light art spiritualist, but it's backfired. It's going to continue to backfire. And this death upcoming of this customer is about to be the nail in the coffin for this person. Oh my god almighty. Okay, so this person intentionally tried to sacrifice this person. They wanted this person sacrificed. So they sold their inheritance, wanted them dead as a blood sacrifice, but it didn't work. This person's still kicking the boots, they're still living. Even with stolen money. Um, they're still going. But I think this person's very high in the spiritual realm. For some, you could be this person, but you plug it in how it resonates. But how that resonates, um, I heard it's backfired. It's gonna continue to backfire. So they wanted to sacrifice this person. For some, it, this could be you, for some it could be somebody you know. But how it resonates, this person's still kicking the boots, they're still living. But the intentional intention was this person to sacrifice this person, but it didn't work. This person, I think, is very high in the spiritual realm. I think that's why it didn't work. But I heard it's going to continue to backfire. One of the ways it's going to backfire is this person about to pass away. One of their customers. I heard it's going to be a sudden death. Like a sudden death. So I don't know exactly how it's, that's going to be. I feel that could be a PE, a pulmonary embolism, or a blood clot, um, or aneurysm, or it could be a heart attack, or something of that nature. Um, or it could be a motor vehicle accident, sudden impact death, or it could be something else that's going to be automatic sudden death. How that resonates and applies, okay? But how that resonates, um, it's going to be sudden and it's going to kill, so like kill instantly, whatever it is, whether it's, um, a P or, a, um, um, DVT, deep vein thrombosis, or MI, a heart attack, or aneurysm, or a, a motor vehicle accident, set of impact, or what have you, what have you, okay? Those are just examples. I didn't hear specifically what it was. But I heard it's going to continue to backfire, so I think it's going to move in the form of more death. They need to lock this person up. Hopefully, for some of you, are the police watching this, and you're on this, I hopefully you lock this person up. This person is dangerous. This person is a danger to society, if anybody needs to hear this. They really are. Somebody new to this channel is getting a huge ass wake up call. They're about to call the police with very important information on this person. Oh my God. Okay, somebody new to this channel. So I'm assuming my channel. Um, it might be somebody else's channel, but I heard this channel. So you plug it in, how it resonates. Somebody new to this channel. I'm presuming this channel. It could be somebody else's channel. But how that resonates, you're new to, I'm presuming my channel or somebody else's channel. But I heard you're about, you know this person, the Star Car Spiritualist, I'm presuming. And I heard you're about to call the police with important information on them. I heard it's older femme energy, 35, 36 or above. Whoever they are, I didn't hear a sign on them. 
but you know who this person is. You're about to call the police with important information on. They're out there using, <clears throat> they have killed people and they've either killed them with their own hands or po poisoning or had a hand and accomplice or premeditated in killing people for blood sacrifices in the past. If anybody needs to hear this, to fuel their coven. This is not correct. If anybody needs to hear this, it's really not. I love you guys. Namaste.